This is the last panel of the moving wall. You guys out here at 8 o'clock? Yeah. Wait, look at this thing. You guys must have really been getting at it. We've got a lot of people here. Upside down and wrong hole. On the green side, only two on the red. So this is the moving wall. They just erected this thing uh, Thursday morning. Crew did quite a job. Get this up in a little over an hour. Really? Were you? Have you been since eight o'clock? Eight hour and a half. And your name is Keith Sangbush. And, okay, yeah, you're yep. one of the organizers. Yep, yep. You guys really went at this. Went really must well. be really got well organized. A, got a good crew here and, and uh, well well organized, and the crew that brought the wall did a really good job of right. explaining how it goes together, so it went well. Uh, yeah. Must be a, a lot of good engineers in, the, in your crew. <laughs> yeah. This up so fast. Exactly. And, I said, and I saw it was all leveled. So what do you think about this event um, coming here? I think it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for locals here to come and see this, and we're hoping to draw people from quite a distance. So, um, yeah, yeah, it's quite an event. Do you have any idea how many people are? We have absolutely no idea who's showing. We'll be up. attending tonight or right. opening ceremonies. And typically, just from previous events, had between three and four thousand people for. The opening, the opening ceremony oh. and as many as 10,000 over a weekend, four day event. So, yeah. 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 Oh, look at this. It's going to get a little. I'm standing about in the middle of this moving wall. The names of the men and women who died in Vietnam during the Vietnam War. So we have uh, crosses here of um, veterans that died from the in the Vietnam War from the Nine County area, of Northwest Wisconsin. Is that right? And your that, name is Dave Hansen of Spooner. That is correct. And you created these crosses. Is um, that correct? Yeah. Um, we had uh, we done some research, got the 62 names off the virtual wall, and off of cemetery records and from county veteran service officers mm -hmm. and we compiled the list okay. and we made the crosses uh, and Darlene Heller actually paid for the lettering that goes on the crosses mm -hmm. and uh, she also came up with the idea of the ribbons on the crosses so we have installed the ribbons and, oh, nice. and, they're, and they're arranged um, by county like we have over here uh, Russ County and Right. Washburn County is over there. and um, There was some difficulty because uh, when the servicemen and women entered the service, they did not always use their, uh, where they grew up as their home of record. They, they were entered in uh, where they, like, they may have entered in the service in Minneapolis or some other location. That uh, kind of complicates things. It was a little confusing at times because someone that actually lived in the area of the nine counties may have entered service outside of that nine county area or mm -hmm. they may have been outside of the nine county area but when they were buried they were buried in the nine county area okay, so right. we included all of them that we could so so probably over the next three days we'll probably get even more information there, there might be there yeah. you know we tried not to miss anybody right. but we included everybody that we could find right and uh just try to keep everybody. Appreciate that. And, uh, what do you think about this whole event, this moving wall coming here? And uh, well, this will be the third time that I've visited the wall, moving mm -hmm. wall, and uh, it's it's a humbling feeling. Uh -huh. And to have it here in Spooner is 
an honor you know, to be be doing something with the war. Are you a Vietnam veteran, veteran yourself? Yes, I spent a year and a half in Vietnam. Okay. I was uh, with the 431st Munitions Maintenance Squadron in Tui Hua, Vietnam. Right. Do you know some of these people on the wall or recognize yes. the names? Uh, in fact, Greg M. Gazin, who our AMVA vets post, uh, is named after. Uh, he died the year I graduated. I did have class with him in school. So, And I, I had a couple other friends right. in, the, in the service that uh, lost brothers or yeah. something like that, too. So, why, why is it important to have this moving wall come here, for our, especially for our Vietnam veterans? I mean, it is very... Very, very meaningful for them. It's meaningful for all of us, but especially for our Vietnam veterans. Why is that important? Well, I think because mainly because that uh, at the time that we did come home from Vietnam, we were kind of treated disrespectfully, mm -hmm. and now to be given this honor, it's it means a lot to us. Right. Well, before I forget, thank you for your service. Well, yes. It's <laughs> our pleasure. So. All right. And uh, one thing I always, I've. I, you talk to different people what their meaning of a veteran is. I like one that I heard a long time ago. A veteran is a person that at some point in his life decided to write a blank check to the United States of America in the amount of up to and including one's life. Right. And that is honor. And well, speaking of that, get a close up of those names. That's that's really what they did. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, Tim Brabick, Washington County Supervisor. Yes, and I want to thank everyone that showed up this morning to put the wall up, the volunteers, there are many of them. We had no shortage of manpower. We have our shifts staffed around the clock. We'll be here when everybody wants to come. And I'm really thankful of the way the public has stepped up. Right. And we have next to you a couple of uh, Vietnam veterans. And Wayne. Wayne, your last name? Wayne Walker. Wayne Walker. I should know that. You're my postmaster. In Springbrook. Yes. Wayne, what do, you, what do you think of this wall? And what do you think the impact is? Going to be to have us here. I think they're doing a real good thing by doing it. I believe we're going to have a huge crowd. Uh, the ceremony start at 7 p.m. tonight. The parking is north of Spooner. The shuttle service will be running. Um, I think it's a wonderful thing. And I'm you said you have 13 of your comrades are on the wall from my platoon. Yes, on your that's platoon. Correct. Wow. Uh, we have s several of them very good friends. Uh, right. I'd like to mention Bill Wedgworth's name in particular. Right. That's all I'd like to say. All right. Wayne, thank you for your service. Thank you. Don Dressen from Springbrook also. Um, well, here it is, Don. What do, you, what do you think? Well, I'd just like to uh, thank Brian Singbush an awful lot because uh, he took over the committee chairmanship, and uh, he has been working his tail off besides having a tornado go through his uh, yard about a week and a half ago. and. So, uh, uh, so many volunteers and everybody is so well organized. I, I think the people that have uh, put this together have done a really fine job, and and uh, it'll be nice to see a good crowd here. And I think it, it'll be real nice. Right. Any any thoughts? I know you've been to the, this wall before, but well, yeah, it's it's when you see the mementos that people leave here that really get to you. I've said this before where, you know, a, a daughter will leave a, a letter to her dad mm -hmm. that she never met. Um, or, a, you know, these, these things that people leave are what really leaves an impression with me. And, um, you know, but, but it, it'll be kind of a healing ground. This isn't right. a fighting ground. This is a healing ground. So um, I think the wall is, is something that people come to and, and uh, have a feeling of, you know, camaraderie or, or sadness that mm -hmm. uh, they share you know mm -hmm. and for all three of you this is really this is really and Don before I forget thank you for your service as well thank you know, you. Um, all three of you this is this is really meant could you guys get closer this is this is really a very solemn uh, experience isn't it this is 
It's meant to be that. Yeah, right. I've, I've never been to the real wall. I'm getting to look like I won't make it, so I participate in helping her. Yep, that's why we did it for guys like Wayne. They haven't right. been to D.C., and this is it. Uh, but I want everybody to know it's free. We've got shuttles. Right. We'll get you here no matter how old or, yeah. or physically disabled. We'll get you to the wall. Guaranteed. Yeah, it seems like, you know, for us non-Vietnam veterans, it's about time we did something for our veteran, our That's Vietnam right. veterans. That's right. Seems like we can't do enough for the, you guys. All right. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Brian Singbrush, uh, one of the organizers uh, for the moving wall that has come here to Washburn County. Well, it's finally here. It's behind us. It's beautiful. Uh, it's it's uh, quite impressive. What, what, you and your brother have been working on this for months. What does it feel like to have, finally have it here? Tiring. <laughs> uh, it's great. Uh, the the lo uh, local uh, uh, businesses and uh, people have really put out a lot to help out. We got a lot. Most of what's here is donated from uh, uh, various people and various uh, organizations and various companies uh, through. Uh, all through Washburn County, Sawyer County, uh, all the way down to Rice Lake, uh, El Claire, Chippewa Falls. So we've got a uh, whole northern Wisconsin uh, is helping out with us on this. Mm -hmm. Now you've been wor working really hard uh, um, organizing this event. What's motivated you? I know it's a lot of work, but uh, why have you been so involved in this? Uh, just duty on our country. That's what I was raised on. I'm almost 26 year veteran, so that's just what we do. All right. Why is this so important for our Vietnam veterans to have us here? It's uh, it's to give them their closure, their uh, their welcome home. Uh, as you, most people know from their history and stuff, the the Vietnam veterans didn't uh, get treated well when they came back from uh, from Vietnam, yeah. and this is kind of their uh, way, uh, our, our way of saying welcome home, job well done, and it's also a, a healing process for them. Some of them have a lot of uh, animosity towards the, uh, the people with the way they were treated uh, and this is just the way they can uh, come here and hopefully let it go and right. uh, get back into the you know society without the, the anger and stuff like right. that. Right. Well it's beautiful I'll just take one quick look you guys did a really good job and uh, the opening ceremony is uh, tonight Thursday night uh, July 28th at 7 p.m. Yes. Uh, and uh, if you're coming you encourage people to park at the county highway shop? Yeah, we have uh, the county highway shop. We have uh, a shuttle service there. Uh, we also have, you know, along here on Wildcat Road, yeah. uh, we'll have uh, uh, golf carts and uh, trailers going up and down the Wildcat Road, picking up people, bringing them in as best we can. Uh, yeah. you know, we got as many as we could get a hold of and, uh, and do a little right. shuttle fight people as fast as we can. Don't wait till the last minute. <laughs> come early. You advise people to come early. It yes. starts at 7, maybe try to get here. Six. The, the shuttle service starts at five. At five. Right, from the the, uh, the highway department, right. and uh, just come here and uh, have a chance to look around the cemetery. All the uh, the uh, uh, stones here that have American flags on them are Vietnam veterans. Okay. So we've uh, there's approximately 310, 310. Uh, Vietnam veterans buried here right now. Thank you for all your hard work. It's uh, appreciate it. Okay.